fasttravel.com. Let's jump into the first topic of the day. The NBA is officially coming back. July 31st is the first date that we will see games. And let me try and brief this for you as easily as possible. Uh, We don't know schedules yet. We know that there are 22 teams that are coming back, 13 from the West and 9 from the East. Basically, anybody that had a shot to get to the playoffs that was within enough games um, that, that could actually make the playoffs, they set up eight games, and you can come back and try and compete to get into that spot. Now, what they're going to do with the eight and the nine seeds, uh, if the nine seed is within four games of the eight seed, they are going to have a best of three series for that last playoff spot. Uh, before we go further, Chris, what are your thoughts on that? So I'm not opposed to that. It, it is kind of weird that the Wizards are definitely basically in the playoffs because they only brought nine from the East and they're going to continue with this East West situation. Yeah. Um, when I saw the not, uh, the 22 teams yesterday, my first thought was, is, well, they're definitely doing away with East West thing because we, we got 13 from one and nine from the other. And, and that's just not how math works. Um, so once again, things are much more difficult for those teams in the East and that are in the West. And, and that just kind of sucks. It does suck, but to be fair, the the teams in the West, you've got the Grizzlies that are currently in the eight spot. They are three and a half games above three other teams. That's right. right. Uh, and then they're four games above the Spurs, who are sitting at number twelve in the West. But, but you don't think that we could do this exact same formula, but do away with the East versus West this one year, and that way, some of those other teams are far more deserving than the Wizards, right? Like we all agree. Yeah. With that. Oh, yes, a hundred percent. I mean, 100%. Look, if they did it 1 through 16, the Grizzlies, who are the 8th seed in the West, would be the 14th seed out of 16. So the last two teams that are actually in the playoffs in the East uh, would be the two last-place teams in the playoffs. I mean, well, that's, that's pending. That's pending that we end it the way you know yeah. it ended the, the season so far. I'm good with the eight team round robin or however they're going to figure out. I think everybody's well, going to play in that eight game thing. Well, no, what they're going to do? The, the Hold on. other teams have to get some. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Uh, all the teams are going to play eight games, and yes. they are following their schedule as it was initially constructed, but only based on the teams that are actually there. Right? right, So the Grizzlies, every team that was left on their schedule is here. So it's just going to go the next eight games. Uh, for other teams that were playing some of the last place teams, they don't get that luxury anymore. They've got to play you know, eight pretty good teams. Uh, so that's, that's going to be kind of difficult for some of these teams to make up enough ground to get within that slot. Now, what's going to be weird, uh, I haven't seen what they're going to do about this yet, but what happens if you've got two teams – that are tied for ninth place, you know, do you just have a one game playoff at that point? I mean, it, no, like, they're not going to play an extra game before this other thing. I, I'm going to bet they're going to go to some playoff or uh, some, some uh, tiebreaker. tiebreaker. Yeah. And it's probably going to go back to divisional wins, which is the first tiebreaker, and then conference wins. That's or that conference wins and then divisional wins. One of those two is the breaker, and then the other one's the next step. Um, and they'll just do that. Uh, ben jumps in on the Twitch. He said, I like your white cinder block wall. Yes, thank you. It's uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. My office is uh, a little antiquated. This building was built in the 1950s. Has not had much of an update since then. But, hey, it works for me for right now. Michael said, just don't be the guy that drives with your mask on alone in your car. No worries there. At, if I don't have to wear the mask, I ain't wearing it. It's all good. Uh, and then Michael said, I saw Portland got in. Thank goodness we don't have to listen to Dame cry about being left out. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, man. that's the reason we're doing this is because Dame and and his bunch complained about it. Uh, no, was... I think this is the right way to do it to begin with. I I, I kind of thought they should have done even either equal numbers from the East, which would have upset some of the West teams that didn't make this thing, but at least it would have worked out mathematically better, or not done away with the East and West, and 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 let's just let them mix it up and figure it out. But well, neither here nor there. We're this. here. We have a solution. We're about to have real sports back. As much as I like the UFC, we're, we're having one of the top two sports in the country back. Yes, agreed. agreed. So I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm good. We're going to get something that we can watch and, 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 and cheer for and find people to root against and whatever. 
the vote by the Board of Governors was overwhelmingly passed. It was a 29-1 to 1 vote. Now, would you like to guess who the team was that voted against the 22-team uh, format? Well, it has to be a team that got left out. Uh, that would be incorrect. Oh, no, then I have no idea. I would have, I would have so, certainly guessed one of the teams that got left out. That would be the Portland Trailblazers. The Trailblazers voted against it because, now this is what they had left in the regular season. They had the Clippers, Warriors, Nuggets, Cavs, Grizzlies, Jazz. Oh, Nets. they got a hard schedule left. They got to play a bunch of easy teams early. No, no, no. And they, no, what I'm saying is they, they end up, because they've also got the Pistons, the Hornets, uh, the Timberwolves, uh, the Timberwolves again, the Grizzlies again, the Rockets, the Mavericks. I mean, they they had some easy wins on their schedule that they thought were going to help get them into that playoff spot, and then they didn't. They played all. They played their harder teams first, and now they're going to have to play against you know only playoff teams going forward, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just all the more reason for them to make excuses, man. Why do they got a crop? They're a really good team. Yeah. Dame's yeah. a great player. Doesn't have to complain all the time about everything. I agree. Just I agree. go out there and play. He's really good. He's really exciting to play. I want to root for him. It's just hard when he just constantly cries about everything's unfair to him. Yes. So right now we don't know the schedule. Uh, we do know that they will be playing on July 31st. We do yep. know that if the game, uh, if the NBA Finals go to a Game 7, they will be playing on October 12th. That is a Monday night. Uh, and they will be going up against Monday Night Football. That is the other issue going on here. They are going to be playing into the first month of football. Uh, NFL, yeah. college football, etc. Um, you're also going to have golf on. You're going to have... You know, all these other sports that are happening. If if MLB comes back, you'll have NHL. You'll have – I don't know that we'll have enough channels to be able to get all these. So, anybody that wants to watch this probably going to have to get League Pass, right? At, like, playoff games will find a way to get on TNT, et cetera. Yeah. But uh, you're not going to be able to find nearly as many on ESPN, et cetera, because uh, there's just not room for all of it. Like, it, it's it, – or it's going to get moved to ESPN News or whatever, Right. Uh, yeah. It's now the good news is it is coming back. The bad news is we still don't know everything just yet. Uh, so we're we're waiting on that. But had they came back a month ago, we would be a lot better off. Them having their game seven against uh you know a Colts you know whatever other Chargers team, and Saints. Chargers team like in on on Monday Night Football. It if it's a game seven of an NBA Finals. It'll be the first basketball game in a long time to beat the NFL game. It goes head to head, but it's going to beat that. And they're not. Well, I wouldn't be worried about that. I just wouldn't. Yeah, it's a, you, you, they're you at a point right. now where we can't worry about petty stuff. All right, we can't worry about avoiding this and avoiding that because we just took three months off. Yeah, I, I agree. At May, March, well, longer. April, May, nothing happened. We're into June. Nothing's happening. So we, and this is we, not at happening some point until in time, we can't say, well, it's really hard to go against football. You know what? You at least find out how you stack up against football. All right. And if it's bad, then maybe somebody will sit down behind closed doors and say, what can we do different? How can we not have these problems and gain some traction? Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what that answer is, by the way. I'm just saying avoiding them is not an option right now unless you just want to end the season. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. Um, they are going to have, uh, so this thing could possibly last until October 12th. Training camps for the next season will start November 10th with a possible opening night on December 1st, yep. which is kind of crazy, less than two months uh, from the end of one season to the other. The yeah, NBA but it's draft, fine because they had three and a half, four months basically off between I, this thing. Yeah, so four, four and a half that would months, still give yeah. them six months off, which is more time off than they have regularly. They uh, they will be doing the NBA draft on October 25th. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're moving in the right direction. Everything looks good on that. Let's jump off of that one, and we will dive into.